in the Queen's room. To the kennels. Look out to the Grand Lobby. We're going to see it all as we head around an iconic ship. The ship is the only cruise liner in the whole world. Welcome to Cruising with the 4B's guide and tour, full ship tour, to Queen Mary 2. Hi, I'm Tom. Let me have 20 minutes of your time as we head around this ship. First, on this beautiful sunny day, let's head up to deck 12. 12, right at the top of the ship. There's plenty of open space. Pavilion pool. Inside pool. But if the weather's bright and sunny, the roof retracts and it's an outside pool. Fairways is your interactive golf simulator. This beautiful space is for shuffleboard, got a sports court, points. It's just a lovely space, especially on a beautiful day like it is today. As we head to the front of the ship, don't forget if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you love cruise content and content from Queen Mary, we have plenty on the way. Hit that subscribe button, it's free from the 4Bs, it's a thank you. This is the lookout up here on deck 12. Queen Mary has some amazing spaces at the front of the ship and they're all discoverable by the forward stairs so let's take a look at these areas one deck down you do have the bridge and you can actually check out the bridge on sea days between nine and four fortunately but understandably there's no photography or film and it does depend on the weather but check that out and underneath there is this amazing observation deck where you can check out the amazing side of the ship and where are we going? Is it New York or is it somewhere sunny? Hi, is the Atlantic Room. Anyone for cards? of my favourite parts of the ship. It's the Commodore Club. A place to sit back, read, relax, drink and take in the views. The connecting rooms are Churchill's Cigar Lounge and the boardroom. And either side, for stunning views, it's the lifts. 
take a look at these. Still forward, now down onto deck 8. It's reading time. Buy a book in the bookshop, rent a book, or sit back and read in the library. I would say the best library at sea, but if the captain gets lost, help him out with his map. We're back up to deck 12. Just that golf swing. The golf net. Oh. Not open on our cruise, but hopefully it's for yours. It's the Boardwalk Cafe. Burgers. Chips, you get the score. How much is that doggy on the cruise ship? Well, it could be yours. For around a thousand pounds, you can take it on a transatlantic. They also take cats. There is limited availability. You only allowed it for one transatlantic, not two in a row. But if you want any more information, Go and speak to Cunard. I love the fact there was kennels on. Can you tell me a ship that has a better aft than Queen Mary 2? If you've got one, let us know in the comments. Spanning decks 12 to 6. Check out these views. One deck down, it's Queen and Princess Grill passengers only on this open deck. Deck 8 at the aft you'll find the terrace pool, hot tubs, and I tell you these hot tubs were hot. The terrace bar and also the smoking area. On a sunny day like today you will not want to be anywhere else. We found the food was excellent on Queen Mary too, but if you'd like to pay a little extra, $50 per person, it's the Veranda Steakhouse. At the aft of deck. As we head down to deck number seven, at the aft you have Princess Grill for Princess Sweet Guests only on the port side.
Queen's Grill. For Queen's Grill sweet guests only. Fancy a place to relax and chill? It's the Grill's Lounge. Of course, the Grill Suite Messengers. We'll continue on deck seven to the King's Court. King's Court is the buffet on board, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And also, I almost forgot. How could I forget? Also open for afternoon tea. Two sections. One section's got your general food from all over the world, in fact. Your puddings, your starters. And then the other section towards the aft has your more black style food. Burgers, chips, pizzas. The kids loved it here. And also an ice cream whipping machine. Oh, yes. Plenty of tea and coffee stations and also juice available throughout the day. In the evening, part of the King's Court is also there for alternative dining, $25 per person. A place to chill, listen to some music of an evening, have a drink, catch up with friends. It's the Corinthia Lounge. As we head to the front of the ship on deck seven, you'll find here a gym in two parts, cardio one side, and build up those muscles on the other. A few steps away. Also in this area, you do have the spa, your hairdressers, and your beauty salon. If you want to look beautiful, like myself please no comments to complete the front of deck seven known affectionately as the tins flings yes these are spare propeller blades but they're kind of like a cool art display at the front of the ship but these are actual working or not working waiting to be working propeller blades if they need them they are designed especially for queen mary and they'll pop them on if needed otherwise they look stunning at the front of deck seven let's take a walk around the wraparound promenade on deck seven
we head down now to the aft of deck six. It's the kids club on board. You've got the play zone for ages two to seven, the kids zone eight to 12, and the teen zone 13 to 17. Real friendly bunch in there. Check it out on the aft of deck six. Five and four are cabins and suites. So let's head down for some of the most spectacular areas of Queen Mary as we take a look at the bottom two deck, decks two and three. This is the Grand Lobby. Open 24 hours is the purser's office. The casino on board. Check out your photos from that gala evening. It's the photo gallery. Everybody loves a British pub. It's the Golden Lion. Lunchtime, you can get a bite to eat. Maybe a fish and chips. A pint of an afternoon. Quiz or live music of an evening. We enjoyed it here. And if you fancy, it's a game of darts. 180. Britannia restaurants. At the aft of decks two and three, so if you're not in the Princess or Queen's Grill, then this will be the restaurants. We had some great meals in here, and I think it's a pretty stunning restaurant. Right at the half of deck three, you do have the Queen's Room. And to get the Queen's Room, you have to head through the art gallery. The Queen's Room, place of day where you might find some Zumba. In the afternoon, you'll find afternoon tea. Oh, what a joy that was. Oh, I could just taste those scones now and those beautiful sandwiches oh i'm not gonna talk about it too much but it was beautiful and evening we do have dancing in here and live music
And finally at the aft, of deck 3, glance the night away, D32 is the nightclub. Deck 3 now, for more light music, maybe light to heavy drinking, is the chart room. The tasting room. This is where you can get an extra special for an extra charge. Afternoon tea. Maybe a croissant or a cake in the morning or a drink in an afternoon. If you've got that urge to shop, then down on the lower decks and around the lobby you do have your shops. From handbag to teddy bears and everywhere in between. Let's take another look at the lobby. in the Champagne Lounge. I said back towards the front of the ship now, the Royal Court Theatre. Situated on decks two and three, variety of shows. While we were on board, there was Shakespeare, Hawks of a Day, Rave On with some classic 50s and 60s music, and a tribute to Broadway with some amazing singing and dancing. The Royal Court Theatre. The walkways down either side of the ship on decks two and three. Take a look at the sea as you head by. Have a game of Scrabble or a jigsaw puzzle. We're now towards the front of the ship. This area, get yourself a tea or coffee. Finally, forward, deck two and three, it's Illuminations planetarium on board it literally is out of this world no seriously the show was fantastic that we saw you also have general shows in here as well that completes our tour of one fantastic ship one fantastic liner if you have any questions or any comments please let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video give it a like for more cruise content, more Queen Mary content, hit that subscribe button, it's free. Coming on the screen shortly will be a link to our Arvia P&O ship tour. And we'll see you very soon on Cruising with the Four Bs.